Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. <laughs> AMD, what are you doing? I can't believe this is happening. You're on the verge of greatness. We were this close. AMD have delayed the launch of the Ryzen 9000 series for two weeks while they fix some unexpected issues. Let's have a chat about it. AMD has delayed the Ryzen 9000 series due to some uh, unexpected technical difficulties on some of the shipped CPUs that have reached their board partners. So some of their AOBs already have some integrated systems that are not performing as expected and AMD have decided to delay the launch of the Ryzen 9000 series from uh, July 31st through to August 15th. I'm really disappointed about this. Uh, you've probably noticed we've done a couple of videos on the Ryzen 9000 series throughout the uh, period leading up to uh, July 31st, which unfortunately has been delayed. Uh, and it ties into some of the issues and the just nightmare scenario that we've had in PC hardware, particularly CPUs with the stuff we've already talked about, uh, the issues with Intel. Uh, now we have some uh, delays and some issues on the Ryzen 9000 series. Are they connected? Maybe, I think so, but has AMD shot themselves in the foot with delaying the uh, launch of the Ryzen 9000 series? I believe they have. I think it's a little bit of a problem that they've done this. What they've done is they've pushed it through to halfway into next month, which you know, is only a couple of weeks, but what it does is it says that, first of all, there's an issue. They had an almighty lead this time around. They could, they just screwed the pooch so badly on, on this. And I think that some of the uh, unexpected reviews that have come out, some of the reports that uh, these CPUs not performing uh, better than some of the uh, 7000 series X3D SKUs has, uh, you know, dampened a little bit of the performance. So AMD are pulling back, reassessing and uh, coming out to the table. It's also a little bit curious that uh, while Intel is having degradation issues. Uh, they've been having issues with their 13th and 14th gen uh, CPUs and their mobile CPUs uh, at the moment, which we will uh, do another video on uh, talking about their upcoming CPU series uh, a little bit down the track. It seems like that uh, AMD might be taking the cautious approach, delaying it so they can get the best possible benchmarks out on uh, over Intel and delaying this CPU launch to wait for Intel to possibly uh, nerf their CPUs a bit. Hey, just want to jump in here and say if you're enjoying any of the content we make here on Computer Games Hardware, please chuck us a like, share, and subscribe. And watching the videos really helps me out, guys. Big hello to all our new subscribers and all you OGs out there. Thanks for sticking around and staying with the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Intel are coming out with uh, power limits on their CPUs and updating them. Uh, it's been reported on by Gamers Nexus and Wendell from Level 1 Techs. They blew it up just as our Ryzen 9000 video came out and we talked about the uh, benchmarks in Geekbench for Intel uh, really overperforming, uh, you know, and not reflecting real world performance for CPU users, uh, this whole thing blew up. So it was quite interesting that it's played out in the way it has. And I think in, uh, AMD are trying to capitalize that on a, a little bit so uh, they can compare Intel's 13th and 14th gen nerfed CPUs to their new brand new spanking Ryzen 9000 series and have a massive lead in the benchmarks. But is the benchmarks all anyone cares about, I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look at what AMD have said. 
All right, so Jack Heinen has tweeted out a bit of information on the 25th of July explaining the issue. So let's talk about it. He says, Jack Heinen, by the way, is the senior vice president and the general manager of AMD. And he says, we appreciate the excitement around the Ryzen 9000 series processors. During final checks, we found the initial production units that we were shipped out for channel partners did not meet our full quality expectations. So I already have a problem with this because if they're doing final checks, why have they shipped out uh, units to their channel partners already if we're in the final checks process? So, you know, it's starting to, you know, sniff a bit shifty to me. Anyway, at an abundance of caution and to maintain the highest quality experiences for every Ryzen user, we are working with our channel partners to replace the initial production units with fresh units. As a result, there will be a short delay in retail availability. The Ryzen 7 7900X and the Ryzen 5 9600X processors will go on sale on August 8th and the Ryzen 9 9950X and the Ryzen 9 9900X processors will go on sale on August 15th. Apologies for the delay. We pride ourselves in providing high quality experience for every Ryzen user, and we look forward to our fans having a great experience with the new Ryzen 9000 series. So, as I said, it seems like a little bit of smoke and mirrors to me. That is a very, uh, uh, you know, diplomatic statement, and most people are of the view that uh, it's probably better to delay something than have a bad experience up front. But, you know, for me, there is people that have probably pre-ordered things and there's people that have been eagerly anticipating new builds that have probably delayed uh, builds with generation gaps that have been eagerly, eagerly awaiting their new CPUs. So uh, I think that it's a little bit tainted to begin with. So uh, people say suck is forever, a delay is a delay. A and I get that. I think uh, I watched a video from Gamers Nexus it's, who rounded that up perfectly. I will link that in the video description below. But I'm taking the cynical uh, view on this. I think that they have tried to delay this uh, this launch to uh, look way better and capitalize on the disastrous time that Intel is having uh, at the moment. And, uh, you know, it could work out pretty good for AMD, but it can also be a disaster because we've already seen reviews from uh, Italian reviewers <laughs> saying that the uh, CPUs didn't meet expectations. We knew that they were going to be slower than some of their X3D counterparts, even from the previous generation, the 7000 series. So things had been starting to swirl around that, uh, you know, the performance expectations are not what was expected. So uh, <clears throat> AMD were already fighting a little bit of an uphill battle, but then Intel went down. They have had this disastrous month or so um, <clears throat> with their 13th and 14th uh, generation CPUs uncovering all these issues. And... AMD had the perfect opportunity to launch these things and have a great experience uh, for their users. <clears throat> I think AMD have shot themselves in the foot with the uh, <clears throat> vanilla and the X3D uh, expectations not uh, not aligning. I think that uh, maybe in the future, AMD might want to revisit if we're going to have performance and X3D models and put some engineering into the next architecture to uh, unify these CPUs so you get a truly performative uh, series of CPUs that matches, you know, anything on the market. We've also got MPUs and all these things coming out. So we're distributing the performance over different markets and people are getting confused about what to expect. So I'm really hoping that AMD uh, fix this issue because if these CPUs arrive on the 15th of August and they still don't meet expectations, people like me are going to be pissed off. So 
AMD, you've dropped the ball on this one a little bit. I don't know what you're going to do about it, but, uh, you know, it's really disappointing. We should have known that there was going to be an issue. We talked about it being very curious that uh, there were no uh, review samples, um, that there's no release date. So it seemed like if there was a genuine problem, AMD probably already knew about it or they wanted to see how the uh, drama with Intel played out until uh, they made an assessment on what's going on. So lots of reviewers haven't got review samples. You might remember in our previous Ryzen 9000, uh, 9900X video, uh, we asked to keep a lookout on all the uh, YouTubers and reviewers who might start uh, trickling in samples. That didn't happen, so that was the first sort of red flag. And then the delay in the release date was curious, and then the pricing. So that's another uh, yeah, really curious red flag for me is they've hold they've held off on uh, pricing numbers right up until you know, they made this announcement, which makes me wonder if there's a performance issue. Right, and if there's something wrong with them, do they want to be able to adjust the price to make them more competitive, or are they uh, adjusting to see how more performance they are so they can bump up the price? We just don't know. All these things juggling together and everyone talking about it now just dampens the experience a little bit for my thinking. So what do you guys think? I'm sure that, you know, AMD are going to come out and launch these things and it's going to be, you know, all the excitement and everything will melt away. But at the moment, it's really annoying that we're having all these hardware issues where we've had a pretty big rut. We've had no GPUs and they're not launching until later the year. NVIDIA aren't launching until 2025. Uh, the CPUs have been a disaster, so uh, we've been uh, sort of desperate for some uh, PC gaming hardware news, and we just haven't got anything but bad news across the board for some time now. So I'm hoping AMD can actually rectify the issue and uh, really put things out. Another thing that confuses me is it may only seem like a little bit of a delay. Two weeks isn't a big deal, generally, in my opinion. But what they do launching midway through next month is they bring it closer to the launch of the X3D models, which for gaming performance are said to be much faster and more performative. So does that mean that there is going to be a cohort of AMD customers who are going to scrap this delay entirely and say, well, I might as well just wait for the X3D models to come out? That's some good advice. I would advise people, if you're on the fence about getting a uh, an X model or an X3D model, at this point, you might as well wait because the uh, motherboards don't come out until uh, you, you know until a month after the launch comes. Uh, the X three D models are on the way, and then you know Intel's new CPUs are said to be launching at the end of the year as well. So you know, have they shot themselves in the foot, AMD, by even a two week delay making it? You, you know, worth holding off to see how the rest of the year plays out? I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. What do you think about the delay from the Ryzen 9000 series? I'm a little bit disappointed. I know that there are some of you out there that are looking forward to getting some uh, good gaming in in the later end of the year who uh, will be disappointed as well. Let me know in the comments down below and we'll uh, have a chat about it in the comments. So thanks very much for watching. I've really enjoyed making this one. Uh, I have hope you've enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys for more Ryzen 9000 series content uh, a little bit later on in the month. Thanks for watching. See you next time.